I'm Meg Southern Sims. I'm the marketing director and historic preservation consultant at Garvin Design Group in the Vista. My name is Xavier Blake, and I'm the executive director for One Columbia for Arts and Culture. Richard Cohn, Sr., chairman of the board of Cohn Corporation and a principal in Cohn Development Group. I'm Pamela Bynell Reed. I'm the director of marketing and community affairs for the Comet and I'm an ambassador for the city of Columbia. And this is Ming Ming. My name is Regan Freeman. I am the development and advocacy director for the Coalition Bike Collective. I'm Martha Wortham Fowler, and um, I am retired from public television. I did television most of my career, and then when uh, I found the opportunity to do some historic preservation, here we are. I am Stephen Stokes, and I work for the Department of Education. I am an education associate for data and reporting. If I had to choose one word to describe my attitude about the downtown strategic plan, it would be excited. So I had some time to think about this. And so the one word I would think would be exciting um, and for a couple of reasons, because that means our city's growing, of course, but also for the process of how it's going to take place. I think we're going to involve a lot of stakeholders and get a lot of uh, input. And so the idea that it could be a collaborative effort to kind of improve our building environment downtown in Columbia is fantastic. So exciting. Excitement. One word I would pick to talk about the downtown strategic plan would be ecstatic. It's a long time coming. And, you know, the city is growing and more people are wanting to live and, and move to downtown. And, you know, the plan is really on time. It's really exciting. You know, I love Columbia. I've been here about a decade. Uh, and it's really cool to be thinking about what comes next and what can be. You know, what really matters to me is you know, more options for walkability and getting to places and safer streets. And I love the idea that we're talking about uh, what the city can be relating to that. So yeah, it's uh, really exciting. I feel reassured. Long overdue. What I love most about Columbia's downtown is all of the historic buildings that it includes. I love the stories they tell about our city, about our development, about our evolution. I love the identity they give our city. And I love that they encourage us to design at human scale and think about street activation. The thing I like about downtown Columbia's built environment is how it's evolved to uh, represent our diversity of our city. Um, there's so many things to do and see, uh, different restaurants to eat at. And so how has it evolved to kind of represent who we are as a city? What I like are the is the flow of traffic, the flow of people, the openness, the landscaping, and the, the ability to get anywhere you want to get in, the net, in five or ten minutes. What I love about downtown is uh, the sidewalks where you can walk your furry friends. Um, it's very user friendly and there's access to public transportation. And, you know, really from downtown, it's like the, the epicenter, you know, for this region. I love that it's a city, like there's a certain amount of density. There's a lot of things to see. Uh, there's a lot of things to do. Uh, I love that it's walkable. I love that you can get from point A to point B. I can bike right in front of my haircut place and I don't have to worry about parking. I love the proximity to things. I love the community feeling too, so. When I became active in downtown Columbia, Columbia was sort of suggested that it was not a place you wanted to be. And um, we, a bunch of the property owners got together and brought in City Center Partnership, now called Main Street Trio. And they have worked in conjunction with the City of Columbia and changed the entire atmosphere of Main Street. Um, where it was a no man's land after five o'clock. It is vibrant and active and happy and all the things we, we never even thought we could get to. I like the proximity, the how walkable Main Street is. Um, I do wish there was more connectivity, particularly for bikes. Um, but, uh, you know, and it's particularly to neighborhoods. Connecting the entertainment districts would be better. Um, but the walkability of shops and restaurants in Main Street is my favorite part. Folks should be excited to be part of this downtown strategic plan process because it's our opportunity to weigh in on how development is going to unfold for many years to come. I think people should be excited about this process because you do have a chance to, to be a part of it. Um, I think collaboratively we work better together and so getting input from everybody is really exciting to be able to do and so to be able to have your input into what Columbia could be going forward is really exciting so I think people should really look forward to, to being a part of this process. So they can have their views heard. 
it's important for people to take part in this planning process because people need to be involved in the decisions that are being made for where they live, where they work, where they play, and where they go for dining and entertainment. So, you know, it's if, if you don't speak out, then your voice isn't heard, you know. So we want to make this an environment that's great for everyone. And to, for that to happen, everyone has to be involved. Uh, this matters. Uh, this matters a lot. You wouldn't think that, but this is how we make a choice about what the city looks like, right? What's important to me and the people I represent is walkability, connectivity, accessibility, right? We want to make sure we mention those things to make sure they're included and our voices get heard so we can, you know, inspire the city and try to make it better 5, 10, 15, 20 plus years from now. A process is never going to work unless everybody's involved. Everybody has an opinion and nobody's opinion is not worthy. Um, it is it, absolutely imperative that we all make decisions for our community. It's hard to complain about something if you don't have any input in it. I think uh, if you want to see and shape your town and, the, uh, and mold it to something better than what it is, I think you need to take part in it. Um, you know, I think there are a lot of great ideas and we have a lot of great people here, but we can't, we need some way to funnel all of those ideas into something that is workable. And I think that's what this planning sort of aims to do rather than um, have like ideas just floating around everywhere um, and, and kind of grasping at straws. To have some sort of um, coherent vision that is workable and manageable um, is best and having input on that is good.